Hey guys, Penadaily here, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda, son of a bitch, uh, Oracle of Seasons. Seriously? Okay, that was fun. Anyway, so in the last episode, we, uh, managed to get our butts, to, we, we defeated the, um, Explorer's Crypt. Okay, that should be fine. And started the hero's cave. Okay, this bit. Push this. Good. Okay, jump. Good. Now. Okay, this bit's gonna be fun. Alright. Jump over there. Okay. Push. There. That's not what I meant to do. Um, okay, there. All right, hopefully that'll work. I did that wrong. Okay, let me show you what you do if you do this wrong. It'll give me a chance to get some extra hearts back, too. All you have to do is go into the portal and come back, and everything's fine. So push that over. Come over here. Whoops. Okay. Yep, push this down this hole. Good, because you're going to need to get at these pots. Now, push this. Son of a biscuit. Right. So, we can push these pots. We'll push this one over, and then that up, and then this over and up. Now, this bit is going to get a bit tricky. Right. Now, we're going to break this pot and push this block over there. And now we want to go this way. Right, good. And, let's see, push this up. Good. And then push, what, this one up? Hold on. Oh, I forgot. We gotta get, we gotta, yeah, we're gonna push that block up, but we gotta do this one too. There. Push that up, and we're gonna push this over. Oh, crud, I did it again. Okay. Sorry, guys. Let's try this again. Yeah, the, 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 these, these start getting hard. So. Alright. Uh, this. Let's see. Over. Up. And. Up. Break. Break. Push. Push. Now. Push this. Up. Alright. And one, two, one, two, three. Actually, it should go there. All right. Now we come over. Now we come over here. Got to do this stuff in the right order. So up, up, over. Push this here. And up, over, up. There we go. Okay, this room. Boomerang. This is basically a combat room. Of course. Okay. You will run into various types of enemies that you have run into through the game. What you get depends on what switch you step on. You have to kill everybody to get through. We're almost done, I think. Yeah. Let's see. I'm going to check check the map. Yes, we've got two more rooms left, and only one of them is a challenge room. Now, the good news is... Okay, Lionels, back to the boomerang. Two, three, good. Ow. There. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, if you step on a switch while... Ow. Okay. Uh, if you step on a switch while you're fighting some... The guys... That works too, actually. You don't have to just... You don't have to pull them close. You can also just... Right. <laughs> you don't have to pull them close. You can also push them away into a corner. If you swept, step on a switch before you kill everybody, then the switch will not activate. So that's at least nice. Dark nuts. Joy. Boomerang, just because I don't have anything better. Um, you know what? Let's go back to the blue ring. <sighs> I might go back to the heart ring or not. It's still gonna be- the heart ring's still gonna be really, really useful. Oh, hey, a fairy. Okay. There we go. Ha. Okay, sure. And you die. Yeah, see? I can go- I can run over the switches while these guys are around and nothing happens. It's not until everybody dies that the switches start activate again. So don't worry about winding up with 20 guys of all different types. Whoop! Shield. Spike beetles. Ow. Die. 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 One more. I knew there. Yeah. And die. And we get the key. And move on. Oh, no, we're not done yet. Sorry. I thought we were. Okay, so what you're supposed to do in this room. Ow. Uh, let's, let's, yeah. They're, they're up higher than you are, so you'd ha the only way to kill them is to jump. So what you're supposed to do in this room is... App! Not fall down the pit. What you're supposed to do in this room is to move your... Jerk bat. Die. You are supposed to use your magical boomerang to hit this switch. But I'm going to assume... Well, one, that's really hard, and I'm going to assume that you can figure out that what you're supposed to do, so I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to show you the cheap way, which is use a bomb chew. This is our last bit. Okay, this room is a thing. This is a very rough map of Holodrum. You've done well to make it this far, but there is a final trial for the true hero. It costs 60 rupees. Will you try? Sure. What else am I going to spend my money on? Open the chests in the proper order. Their locations offer a clue. Look carefully. This is a map of Holodrum. And these are the dungeons that you've gotten to. Well, all except the 8th dungeon, but process of elimination. So here's, here's the lake, remember? And this is the Gnarled Root Dungeon. And then this is the Snake's Remains. Good. And then, let's see. This out here, of course, is the Poison Moth Slayer. And then up on Mount Cucko, we have the Dancing Dragon Dungeon. And then here we have the Unicorn's Cave. Because you remember. And then we have up. Uh, all the way up here, of course, was Dungeon 6, the Ancient Ruins. And then if we come down here, we have the Explorer's Crypt, which we just got out of, and... 10th, our 10th rupee, or 10th rupee, our 10th, our, our 8th is this, so this is where level 8 is, so we know where to go next. That's also where the Temple of Seasons used to be. And for defeating the Hero's Cave, we get a ring and a portal. So let's go do that. We're done. What does he have to say? Anything? Nope. Nope. <laughs> All right. So we beat the hero's cave. <laughs> <laughs>
And we killed more. We killed at least 30 enemies in there. Okay. Maybe she'll give us a ring. Oh, nope. Nothing good. Alright. Alright. Yeah, yeah. So she'll remember this. We don't care. Back to Horon Village. We'll go get that ring appraised. And pick up another ring. Because we're going to go after the Sword and Shield dungeon today. And that's that's what level 8 is. The Sword and Shield dungeon. And I just cut all your rice. But it'll be back as soon as I walk back onto the screen. Ooh, sweet. Thanks. I, that's, that's just funny. I mean, of course it happened, but that's just funny. Alright, so let's get our ring appraised. Do come in. Yes, yes, appraise. Appraise. I see. Yes, the power ring level 3. Yeah, it ups your attack quite a bit, but it ups the damage you take, too. It's not worth it. It does more... You can do more damage than the red ring, but you take so much. There aren't enemies in the game that really make it worth it, in my opinion. So now we are going to go... Basically, we gotta go up to where the Temple of Seasons used to be in the... well. As you can see, there's that one place up there which just... yeah, whatever. You remember those dark nuts we ran into? The, the place that had the really fairly interesting... Uh, the, the Gwengashid place that I said you can get some interesting stuff out of? Yeah, we're gonna go there. So... No, not there. We're actually gonna go up to... Yeah, this should be fine. Warp. Let's see. Get some more scent seeds, because they're often useful. I mean, the Tarm Ruins would be fine, too. But this is, this is easier. Jerk. Thank you. I didn't know you could do that. That you'd get stuff from breaking a sign. You don't have, you actually don't have to go that way, either. Um, oh crud, I did it again. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to warp back. I meant to get, we really, we need to get the snowshoe ring. So, uh, back to Horon Village. I do this all the time. There we go. Warp. <sighs> and, yeah. List. List. Okay, we're not going to need... I don't think we're going to need the quicksand ring. Give me a second. Okay, sorry guys. Hold on. I'm back. No, no, we're not going to need the quicksand ring. But we're actually not going to need the rocks ring either. So let's see what else. I guess I'll get the green holy ring right now. I won't need it in this dungeon. But we'll need it for the final fight. And I'm just less likely to forget it if we do it this way. So, snowshoe ring. That's, there we go. All right. So we got the red ring, the heart ring, the snowshoe ring, which, yeah, we really, really need. Uh, no, no. It's, I mean, I could do, there we go. Horon Village. Or, Horon Village. North Horon. All right, let's try this again. Now you could go up through the way that the, with the Gasha Seed and the, what are these called? Um, dark Nuts, that the Dark Nuts were protecting. But we don't have to do that. I'll probably, jerk, fill it out, but. So we come up here and, oh hey, we can get across here, can't we? And now we're in a new special area. I'm going to explore the whole thing before we head in, just because. Ow! Well, that was silly. 
I, I keep thinking I got the boomerang on when I don't. Die. Okay, that, if we go up, that'll take us into the Temple of Seasons. You both get to die. Thank you. And yeah. If we head this way, actually, like, right. I hate this guy. And this is why I usually don't come this way. Because if we head up this way, yeah. Ugh. The power of darkness won't let you go any further. Yeah, basically. <laughs> That's where the final battle is. On Ox's castle. It's, so yeah, pretty close. And of course if I head down, that's where that is. So, I usually come the other way cause so I don't have to deal with that ball and chain soldier. Because in any universe, they're annoying. Okay, so, let's see. It's winter. This bit's a thing. I, this, this whole bit. Okay. Alright, yeah, this is the temple remains. So first, we need to change the season to autumn. I suspect I'm going to get into the dungeon and stop today. That's spring, doofus. Okay, now it's autumn. And... Let's see. Just go this way. Do, 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 do. We can, of course, get across the leaves. Alright. Now here, you need... They say you need the Pegasus Seeds in the walkthrough I was reading, but you don't. So, don't worry about that. Kill everybody just for fun. Okay. And, let's see. What else do we have? Okay, we could get over there, but there's no point. And now we have to change the season again to winter. There we go. Because now, we could go down that way, but we can also go up this way, because there is snow, and we can get past the snow. So jump, and now we can come down here to a subversion portal! You can get across there, but we don't want to yet. There's a guy throwing stuff into the hole. Yeah. No, don't worry, that wasn't our our next heart piece. Um, so, we're gonna be a jerk. He's just throwing random sprites in. So, we throw a bomb in. And, yeah. Because Onyx apparently didn't wreck this place badly enough. Oh, hey. That looks interesting. Yes, because Onyx didn't wreck this place badly enough, we have to do it further. Uh, still pretty cinematic for this kind of game. You did it! Cool! Well, I'm glad somebody's happy. Okay. And of course, if you go across here, you can go to the rest of Sabrosia, but we really don't have a need to. So let's just go back to the Temple of Seasons. All right. So we could get over there and bomb into that, and I think we want to. Hold on, I'll be right back, guys. Freaking telemarketers. Sorry about that. Bombs. jerk. I'm not sure I, if there's a good place to hide from that. So we come over here. Can we push that up? No, but we can be a silly goose. Uh, we never did go up and get that thing. Um, there's a ring up on with the Gorons. 
Yep, we, so we've got, yeah, we got a heart container. It's one last heart container. Nothing else we can do here, though, so let's just get out of here. But that was our last piece of heart, so we have everything we need. Anything else I can do here? Well, we can go this way, which we're probably supposed to. No, you are a jerk. You are also a jerk. You are all jerks. You guys are jerks, too. Eh, well. Alright, so now we get to make it summer, I believe. Yep, summer. Okay, let's kill these guys first and foremost, if I can. There we go. Jump over, kill him. Jump over, and up. And now we go up here, over there, over there. Over there. Over here. Okay, let's see here. And, as you can see, the only way to get over there is gonna be the magnetic gloves. So. Kill you? Ha ha. I think. Okay. There we go. And, yeah, this is gonna be kind of a thing. Push this. Push this out of the way. Push this out of the way. Push this out of the way and this down. Good. Push this out of the... This out of the way. Hopefully kill the bats. Meh. Whoa. <laughs> Back to the boomerang. Kill the lionel fast. Kill the other lionel. And get a heart. That's nice. Come up here. Okay. Can I kill you? No, of course I can't. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh yeah, you, I mean, the rocks ring wouldn't be horrible to have here, but it's really not that big a deal. You want to be careful, because there are some unpleasant customers around here. But as you can see, we made it up just fine. Back to the boomerang. Because that. Don't fall down. You'll need to eventually, but that's really just a way out of here. So we get some fairies, and we can go to Sabrosia. And now we're in this place that we couldn't get to at all before. And we get to go up to that volcano we saw. Or maybe we didn't actually see it. I thought we saw it. Whatever. Yes, yeah, Zelda, no! Zelda, no! Don't leave the refuge! Not now! Let go of me! I cannot stand by while the people live in fear of destruction! Uh... -huh. No matter how frightening it is, you must not lose hope. Hope is the one thing that can lead you to peace. Okay then. So, welcome to the Sword and Shield maze. I got ten minutes left, I'm gonna keep going. And this is why you want the snowshoe ring. You don't slide on the ice. And while I'm sure, you know, Dr. Sidney Friedman might disapprove, we're gonna need it, so ack. Oh wait, I'm okay. Shh, jerk. Now, of course, remember that while you're when you're not die, and I'm going back to you're gonna go between ice and your preferred attack or defense ring, pretty much constantly. Die. I'm killing these guys because I want a heart. Ha. Okay, so we go this way. All right, so, gee, yep, there's a statue there that doesn't have an eye in it, so, let's hit it, because, yeah, 
All right. And there's nothing else we can do in here. So, go back this way. Anything I can do there? I don't think... Act okay, no. Nothing we can do here just yet. That's okay. Let's go back to that, too. There's nothing we can do in this room just yet. This one, on the other hand... Right, we have three Gasha Seeds. Huh. Okay. Um... There we go. Get over here. You guys like my scorpion impression? Mm, yeah. Just die. Oh, think how much more fun fighting those jerks would have been with, uh, if I hadn't had the, the, um, ice thing. Yeah. And here you really, really want the... The... The ring. Because you're gonna have to use this magnetic ball to kill that annoying hard hat beetle, or whatever he's called. Bumper beetle. Well, that was silly. Yeah, you can see why there are sometimes reasons you'd like say, the peace ring. So, there we go. And with him dead, we can get that. Okay, right this way. Back to the boomerang, because yeah. Fine. And right again. Okay. Now we're gonna go down this block and I'm going to go back to the blue ring. And you'll see why we won't need the snowshoe ring for a bit. Color scheme changed. Yeah, there's a reason for that. I'm gonna kill bats first. Well, at least he died. Ha, you died too. Ha. Okay, so now we've got to go. Right. Watch out for the rollers. Oh, the rocks ring would have been okay here. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. Just We're going to go to the rocks cape, mostly because it'll get us over the rollers if necessary. Oh, yeah. Watch out for those jerkwads. Because wall masters. And now, oh, we've got to get through here. Ugh, I hate Potaboo. Well, that was not what I intended. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Keep an eye on the timing. Whatever, I made it. And... We made it! Didn't even take that much. Now, another Potaboo. Before I do anything... Ha! Ha! Ah, because bats are a real hazard to navigation. You jerk! Okay. Okay. Move forward. Good. And over. Okay, that wasn't so bad. But yeah, you can see why I'm happy to be back on uh, the blue ring. Excuse me, I didn't hit the button a second time. Okay, one, two, three, good. Oh, well that was just stupid. All right, let's try that again. He comes there, good. Really? Uh, it's a good thing I have the blue ring on. Oh. I that, that one's my fault, I was just trying to... <clears throat> Whatever. Okay, guys. I'm. S this is. This is stupid. All right. Just right. Good. Okay. Good. 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 
And now I'm going to kill the ble these pots to try and get some hearts back. No, no dice. All right. Fine. All right. Oh, we've got these jerks. You can... Yeah, you've got to get up here. And then go through the door. That's not so bad. All right. I should have probably used the... G grab the rocks cape. Uh, the r kept the rocks ring. Oh, well. Now we need to go up... We need to go up these stairs, and I'm not hanging around with that jerk. Okay. So, unfortunately, we need to go back to the snowshoe ring. And... Also our... Oh, of course. Good, good. Alright, back to... Now, now to the... Thing, because I might need it for killing bats. Because I don't like bats. Oh, good. The compass. Good. Alright. God bless the snowshoe ring. Yeah, this is another reason to do Oracle of Ages. Ah, uh, first. There are a lot of reasons, in my opinion, to do Ages first. Uh, there's the fact that... Okay. Now that we got that, you're going to go... Yeah, we go right back down, and there's a locked door, so let's head this way. Yes. Through here. And, oh look, a roundabout. Up the stairs. To the left. Drop down. Drop down. And now we go down. Okay. Don't... Now, we want to be careful. Uh, go to the big Goron sword and wait. Yeah, eventually that guy starts moving, and you can do this. Alright. And now we go up these stairs, dude, and go back to our standard loadout. And we're on the blue ring, which is fine. Oh, I was hoping you'd give me a heart, but whatever. We've got this, and we get the dungeon map. So that's nice. Alright, so, but we don't want to leave just yet. Because, see that ball? Right. We want to come here, right. And then go, yep. Alright. Yeah. You want this to come this way, and put that there. Alright, now there's nothing else we can do here now that this is done, so let's go back down the stairs. Luckily, the Armos Knight spawns elsewhere this time. He says a silent watch is needed, by the way. So, now we're going to go up these stairs. Which is going to be fun, but we managed. Boy, alright. Alright, let's see. I think there's something if we come this way. There is! Big Goron sword time. Good. I much prefer it. And we get the Hyper Slingshot. Yeah, oops. Just ignore them. I mean, at this point, really, there's no point in doing otherwise. Okay. B. A. And there's even a handy block there so that you don't have to worry about overshooting. And now we're up here. Okay, and obviously there's a key in this room. So we go over here. Now, the first thing we want to do is go in this roundabout, head right, and get the key. Oops. Well, that's going to be interesting. I forgot to turn my thing back on. Uh, I have no idea what I'm at at this point. Forget it. Even if it's like a 45-minute episode, I'm going to just go to... I'm going to go to the mini-boss and stop. Because that's a pretty standard. So, yeah, we got the hyper slingshot. It's basically the slingshot. Except it fires three guys at a time. So, a 
even though you can probably guess, let's see what the owl has to say. Icy cores make piercing blades. Oh yeah, we are kind of close to the... That's for the mini boss. And it's, you know, you'll, you'll need it. So we could go through there, but we don't want to yet. Instead, let's use our new hyper slingshot. Okay. And bombs. No, bombs. No, really? Really? You've got to be kidding me. Fine. <laughs> that probably wasn't... I probably should have just tried to come through, but whatever. Alright, let's... Th that was some interesting performance, but we'll, let's just get through here and kill these guys. Alright. Now, of course, more bombs. And there. And we get another small key. We're actually pretty close to the mini boss, so who cares? All right, come back down. And this is the mini boss room. Okay, so Frypolar. Um, I think mystery seeds will do it. Um, and right. Well, actually, uh, let's start. We'll let's start with the ember seeds. Okay, this is Frypolar. He's got two particular really forms his fire form and his ice form hitting him with mystery seeds makes him change form and then you can if he's in his ice form hit him with an ember seed and he gets yeah oh he okay Perfect. Um, I think I have to... Dang it. Okay. In his ice form, you have to hit him... You hit him with an ember seed. But you have to hit him in... There we go. Oh. Dang it. Okay. Hit... Let's hit the... Hit that. Good, good, good. You have to hit him in each form at least one time to kill him. He's, but it's honestly easiest just really to get him, so it's easiest just to keep, once you've hit him once in his uh, fire form with the ice, it's easiest just to keep putting him into ice form and hit him with ember seeds. So, just keep, and with each, every time you hit him with one, he goes to his other form, so just keep doing this. Ugh, I hate trying to, I, I wish the seed selection and stuff was easier to do. And of course, if you run out of, oh, can I go back to this? There, thank you. All right. Mm. The other thing you can do is this. Oh, I thought I, dang it. Okay, fine. Uh, there we go. <sighs> really? Why am I? Fine. There. <sighs> yeah, let's not do that anymore. But you can do it if you're 
better at... If, if you're slightly better at things than me... There we go. Okay. Back, back. Some mystery seeds. I know. Come on, I know I hit him at least once in the... I know I hit him once. Just die. Are you dead? Yes. Good. That was stupid. Okay, but we made it. <laughs> And I'm going to call it there. So, in the next episode, we will continue on with the Sword and Shield dungeon and hopefully not have quite as silly a... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Quite as silly a setup against this guy. So, have a great evening, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.